There is nothing better than a fighting Atlantic salmon jumping on the end of your fly line. No better way to start a day, in my opinion. Out on Harry's River again tonight with Cousin Jack. You see your fly? I can see it. I can't see it. Can you? I put on my glasses. I brought my glasses with me. I guess no point in having them if you don't have them on your face, eh? <laughs> oh, I see it there now. That's a good spot. That's right where I've been getting them, Jack. Right there, right there, right there. Jackie released uh, two fish tonight. I missed it. I was up above. This is a beautiful pool. Jackie casts his line with ease, putting out lots of line, and the fly gently falls to the water. Presentation is half the battle when trying to catch an Atlantic salmon. What's that? <laughs> well, that's nice, eh? And you had a couple on today? You landed a couple. Two landed and released. One loss. I don't know if you guys believe that. I don't know if I believe that by. <laughs> I never got nutting tonight. Oh. But now we got a long walk. Up the river. The word at the way, Jack. Oh yeah. Yep. Jeez, there's still still lots of light on the, on this camera, boy. Yeah. Look at it. Look at the. Oh yeah, perfect. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Leroy bought me that new drill. Oh, that's nice to have. When I hooked this guy, my GoPro camera was still in my pack. I get him down here and land them. Oh, nice grilled, boy. Same spot every time. See if I can get him right up on the shore. It almost looks like he's ready to come. There he is. Well, that's a bit of a small one, you know. I really wanted to let this little guy go. But he smacked himself a couple times on the rocks pretty hard when I pulled him up on the beach. I think I might let that one go. 
I can get a bigger one than that. Let's do a quick measurement on them. Oh yes, he's he's well below the limit there, right? Eh? Uh, should I keep him or should I let him go? And once I noticed the blood coming from his nostril, I knew I had to keep him. He still had a lot of fight left in him, but I was concerned about the smacks he took when I had beached him. I'm not sure. Hmm. And out. We'll keep them. Another little hook blow. Right on, boy. Well, this is uh, bittersweet. I'm down here at Lower Force. I haven't put a fly on this uh, pool yet today. I just went up. I was just up in Upper Force where I caught all of my uh, previous three salmon and I ended up getting my fourth and filling my fourth tag. But I wanted to come down here because this is where my grandfather fished a lot. We always camped down around the, the corner down there, you know. Uh, you got a 90 degree bend down here. And then the next 90 degree bend is Rocky Pool. And between that, you know, you got uh, bare rock and all that stuff. But I wanted to come here and uh, Give it a few flicks and see if we can't get anything to come up and, uh, and grab the fly. I just wanted to add that <clears throat> this reel has fished this pool hundreds of times in the past. So it's nice to bring it back here where it belongs and give this pool another flick. I'll give the old green uh, bomber another, another chance here. And if this doesn't work, I'll pull out the uh, white wing blue charm. Start off with a couple of close, close casts. Salmon part. Beautiful pool. Salmon part. My Aunt Tina bought this reel for my grandfather back in the 1960s and only paid $60 for it. Well, I can't believe nothing's coming up here and grabbing that fly first thing this morning. Let's go a little shorter cast here. There's a rock right out here and another one right out there. It's always nice to put your fly down behind these rocks. They break up the current for the fish and the fish like to hang up behind them. Let's try it right out in front of that big rock on the other side. There we go. See what that does for us. Well, I'm gonna change my fly and uh, go back up to uh, upper force and down here at lower force right now. And give it a couple more flicks where I caught my salmon this morning. 
my fourth and final salmon that I'm allowed to tag. However, I'm still allowed to do some uh, catch and release and stuff like that there. So uh, I'm going to go, I'll start targeting uh, sea trout now. I'm going to start going out to a, another river where the sea trout run pretty good and see if I can't pick up a few uh, sea trout and I'll be using my uh, Catch 120 Pelican Kayak. All four of my salmon this year were caught on the same fly. I guess a fluorescent green bomber. Works good. Just so peaceful here. There's some there's a flat down there with some big trees, big woods, a mature forest. I may look at that after and uh, see if I can't get a nice spot to set up my uh, my prospector tent. I would love to come out for a few nights camping here on the river. I forgot my nail clippers today. It's normally in my vest pocket right here. One of these. Not there today. So there's the uh, there's the magic fly for the year for me. That's the one that's been catching me all the fish. Another salmon on here. Again, I never had my GoPro camera on when I hooked the salmon. So he's so he's after taking a couple of good runs and he's getting pretty exhausted. So I'm gonna try and be a little bit more forceful with him and get him to shore as quickly as possible. I need to get my glove. I caught this salmon up at a different spot in the pool. This was right up at the head of the pool and I was only up there and, and made, I don't know, about five to 10 casts when he come up and grabbed it. Nice fish. As soon as you can get a salmon to turn over, pull hard on them, you'll get them to come right to shore. That's what I'm waiting for. I want to try and grab them by the tail keep them in the water and release them as quickly as possible. Yeah. Jeez, these fish are... They say a fight is won or lost in a split second. And I'm just waiting for my chance to win this one. I'm just gonna... Well, I need a net for releasing these fish. There we go. Oh, missed them. <laughs> Come on. Round one goes to the salmon. Geez, strong. Round two as well. But I got him in round three. Strong fish, boy. Strong fish. There we go. Beautiful little salmon. Another hook bill. Those barbless flies come out so easily. Rub his belly for a bit until he's strong enough to swim out on his own. 
Oh. Nice fish. Come on, you're not ready yet. Oh, trying to swim away. There he goes. Let's keep an eye on him now. And he was caught on on my version of a, it's a type of blue charm, I guess, you know, uh, except for it's green. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna fish for about another five, 10 minutes. See if I can get another one on. So this is the fly I use it's my own pattern to catch that last salmon. It's a good feeling when you can go and tie a fly and come out here and catch fish with it. I uh, I tied that fly down at Dad's. Me and Dad spent an afternoon together. And I took down my fly tying kit and tied up that fly. And well, it worked perfectly. Once again, thanks for watching. If you like this channel, please subscribe.